Achieving net zero is a key focus across the world to combat climate change, and the UK is utilising cutting-edge frameworks to do so. To see tangible change, this must be facilitated by energy companies making strategic investment in their network assets. By following the principles of optimising cost, risk and performance, UK Power Networks is aiming to ensure nobody is left behind in the transition to net zero. Energy. It makes our world go round, it powers our lives and takes us where we need to go. UK Power Networks is the distribution network operator for electricity covering London, South East England and the East of England. It takes the electricity from where it's generated to where it's needed, when it's needed. We're here to keep the lights on and we're here to facilitate net zero and ensure that our customers are best served. Lynn MacDonald is a line manager in the Smart Grid development team at UK Power Networks. It's her job to find innovative ways of using existing electricity services and infrastructure and achieve our climate goals. And to deliver net zero at lowest cost, we must move away from that mindset and traditional view to build and invest in just infrastructure networks. We need to move away from that as a default position. So at UK Power Networks, we are taking a smart approach to asset management, building out new technologies, capabilities and data services. Then what is smart asset management? Our asset management strategy is to maximise the utilisation of the network first, and that's through network visibility. So we're rolling out sensors in our low voltage network where we're seeing the highest growth of low carbon technologies. We're then also using flexibility and market-based solutions. So rather than building out assets, we're going out to the market and asking for customers to provide services where they can either bring up their loads or bring it down so we can manage within network peaks. And ultimately, once we've exhausted all these smart solutions, then we would build asset infrastructure through a one-touch approach. By using flexible networks and a smart asset management approach, cost, risk and performance are optimised to generate stakeholder value. It's an adaptable, data-driven approach that utilises area-specific knowledge and this approach suits significant collaboration. Waterloo Bus Garage. Here, Go Ahead runs a fleet of EV buses on London's busy bus routes. They learned lessons from building the power infrastructure here, and working together with UK Power Networks, they improved their power management at the second garage they electrified at Camberwell. I asked for a two meg supply to go in for the first 15 to 20 buses. It was a bit too much, but we knew that garage is 250 buses, so we're going to do it later on. When we first got the price back, it was astronomical. The, the point of connection was so far away, but actually UKPN came back and said, have you thought about a time capacity? Didn't understand what that was. Time capacity being the fact that I could have 1.5 all day long and two at night, which is when I'm charging my buses, made perfect sense. I don't use much of it during the day. So that saves us a fortune bringing that connection from across the road rather than two miles away. Waterloo Bus Garage has left this sign up here as a bit of history because, of course, the fleet they have here now is almost completely silent. It's an indicator of how much things have changed and where we're headed from noisy and dirty to quiet and much, much cleaner. The electrical vehicle revolution is coming and it's going to radically change how we consume electricity. Satiris Georgiopoulos is UK Power Network's head of smart networks. He thinks demand is heading only in one direction. UK Power Networks is at the, at the center of the net zero transition. The forecast for our region over the next five years, we forecast to go from approximately now 350,000 electric vehicles in our streets to uh, almost 3 million electric vehicles. Uh, so we need to make sure that we have sufficient uh, capacity, sufficient infrastructure to meet this need at the lowest uh, possible cost for all of us. By acting smart, Satira says we manage this transition in an environmentally conscious and economical way. We are going to see much greater use of technology, we are going to see much, much greater use of data and we're going to see much, much greater use of consumer participation. We call it flexibility today, but taken to 2030, 2035, 2040, hopefully that's the way we interact with the, with the energy system. And by taking the actions, incentivized actions, we are able to make sure that the overall system remains at, um, at the lowest possible cost. UK Power Networks, keeping the lights on, achieving net zero and generating value for its stakeholders everywhere.